do some sewing crafts today. First up, socks. I'm using a knit fabric like a t-shirt. I take a small piece of fabric and wrap it around my doll's leg. Using a pencil, I sketch around the leg and around the foot. Carefully remove the doll. Lightly sketch a seam allowance. Cut on the outside line. Take a piece of paper, trace around it. Now I'm just gonna sketch in the first line that we drew. Trying to get it as accurate as possible. We'll have to see when we test it out. I want the top of the sock to remain stretchy, so I'm not going to hem it. Instead, open it up, fold it over once, then fold it over again, iron it flat. I'm using a Barbie iron because my actual iron doesn't reach this table, so you get what I mean. Fold it in half and sew on the line drawn. You can use a sewing machine or a needle and thread. I'm using a needle and thread. I put a knot at the end of the thread, starting at the toe, go through the material, try to be right on that line, then go back through, then take the needle through the thread right before the knot to lock the stitch. See, it's not going anywhere. So back and forth, keeping your stitches nice and tight. The closer they're together, the neater your project will be. It'll also take longer, but it'll look great. When I get to the top, I start going back down, just past the fold, then tie and knot the thread. Trim off the excess, trim away some of the excess fabric, but don't get too close like I did right there. Yeah, be careful. Turn it inside out, try it on the doll to see if it's a good fit. And this one is a little loose, so we're gonna try again and make it a little smaller. But at least this time, we don't have to start from scratch because we made a pattern. I'm gonna use this line instead of this one as my seam allowance. So we'll be sewing somewhere around here, and that should make it small enough. And I'm gonna take it down by about that much. Place the pattern on the fold, trace around it, Lightly sketch an inner line to sew on, fold down the top, fold it in half, sew it just like before. That is definitely a better fit. We could probably get it smaller, but then it might be difficult to flip, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Repeat to make two, and now our doll has a pair of cozy socks. If you would like a tighter fit, just make a larger seam allowance. I wonder if she can fit Creatable World shoes now. We're gonna go ahead and try that out with the new socks. <gasps> oh my goodness! They totally fit, and we can balance her to stand. Look at that, they're not coming off. Love it! Oops, sorry. Can we upcycle a Barbie color reveal skirt? I sketched out a shorts pattern I think we might have enough fabric for this. Carefully cut up the seam on the skirt. Remove the elastic at the top to get a long strip of fabric. Cut out the pattern, fold the fabric over, place the fabric on the fold. Now we do have a hem drawn in, but this fabric is already hemmed, so we're just gonna move it down a little. Trace around it, cut on the line drawn, repeat to make two, Open them up and lay them good side to good side. Sew along one of the curves. I used my sewing machine, which doesn't like this fabric, so it took me a few tries. This can be sewn by hand. Now that both sides have been attached, fold over and iron down the top. Place the elastic on top. Sew back and forth a few times with a straight stitch. Pull the elastic and sew it in place gathering the top. Fold it in half, sew along the curve, open it at the bottom, lining up the inseam, sew a line straight across. I am choosing to sew this part by hand. Flip it inside out to make some comfy shorts to lounge in. 
I think I pulled the elastic a little too much. Let's try again. But this time, I'm going to try and put the elastic underneath. This is four inches of elastic. Sew back and forth to catch the elastic. Make sure it is underneath the lip. And then I'm going to pull it to the end and hold it while I do a straight stitch. Those came out better. How about a simple top to match? I made a pattern that is a four and a half by two inch rectangle. Place it on a t-shirt, lightly trace around it, cut on the line drawn. After ironing it, I place the pattern back on top. This is the good side facing up. And I make a tiny mark where I want to place the straps. We can use ribbon. For each strap, you need two and a half inches or cut a thin strip of t-shirt material. This is about a fourth of an inch. Now I'm gonna pull it to make a cord. Cut it to two and a half inches. Take the good side and lay it on the line marked right at the edge. Going just a little past. Sew them in place. I'm using a needle and thread. Once sewn down, flip the straps over, turn the whole piece over, fold down the top, fold up the bottom, iron it flat, then sew a straight line across the top and bottom. So it's hemmed. Place the pattern back on with the good side facing down. Make a tiny mark for the other end of the strap. Fold the strap over, going past the edge of the hem just a little and sew it in place. Take Velcro, fold over one side of the top and sew one half of the Velcro down. Sew the other half on the good side of the top to make a cami for our shorts. What can we do with this leftover fabric? We could make a pillow or we can try to sew a tiny mask. I sketched out a pattern, trace it on the back, flip it over and trace it again, cut it out, lay them good side to good side. I'm gonna sketch a line to sew on, then sew a straight stitch on the line. Open it up and lay the seam flat. Fold over the top edge this is some teeny tiny sewing, y'all. I'm gonna iron that down. This fabric likes to be ironed, but be careful because it is so small. Sew a straight stitch along the edge. Be sure to lock your stitch at the beginning and tie a knot it at the end. Fold over and iron the bottom. Stitch a line going straight across. Try it on the doll. And that's looking pretty good. We have a lot of space left over on the side for the casing for our elastic. Fold over the sides and iron it down. Take a thin elastic. This one is made for jewelry. Place it in the crease. Stitch along the side. Tie the end of the elastic. Trim off the excess. Turn the elastic so the knot is on the inside. Repeat on the other side to make a mask. I still have a little bit of material left over. Take a paper clip, unfold it, lay it on the fabric, and cut enough to cover it from end to end. Turn it over to the other side, place the paper clip in the center, glue the fabric around it. I used a hot glue gun and I glued down one side and then the other. When I get to the center, I'm gonna pinch it just a little so it makes an indention. Pinch it on the ends so it comes to a nice little point. Take another scrap of fabric and wrap it around the center. I glued it in the back and trimmed off the excess. Bend it to make a headband. So cute! And since it has a wire inside, it's easy to bend it to whatever shape you want. For our next project, let's make a beanbag chair. I'm using two coordinating fabrics. Lay the fabric good side to good side. I cut a rectangle out of paper that is six by eight and a half inches. Fold it in half. Sketch a slight curve. Cut on the line drawn. Open it up and place it on the fabric. Trace around it. 
cut it out, cutting through both layers of fabric. Starting at the top corner, sew a straight stitch going all the way around and stopping at the other corner. Now I'm going to go around the edge with a zigzag stitch just to make it all nice and clean. Trim off the excess thread, turn it inside out, take the top and fold it over just a little, about a fourth of an inch, iron it flat, find the center and pull the two sides apart lining it up at the seam. Cut a strip of Velcro, pull it apart, place one half on the edge, and sew it down. Repeat for the other side, flip it inside out, close the Velcro at the top to make the cover for our bean bag. Only we're gonna fill it with doll clothes. Place the doll clothes inside, close it up, Move it around to make a chair for the dolls to enjoy. This gives us a comfy bean bag with the added bonus of storage. I have a little bit of material left over and I think we can use it to make a plush dog toy. I made a pattern, trace it onto the back of the material. Wow, I have like just enough space. Cut it out, place it on felt, Lightly sketch an inner line, sew on the line drawn, leaving an opening. I'm gonna trim off some of the felt, flip it inside out, use a chopstick or the end of a paintbrush to push out the corners, add a little fluff, sew the opening closed to make a plush toy for our dog. I have a nice little collection of scraps from projects throughout the week. We're going to use them to make a bed for our dog. I place the dog on some fabric, cut a rectangle around it, leaving enough space for a seam allowance. Lay it good side to good side on another piece of fabric. I'm using a fleece, and I'm gonna leave a nice little edge going around it because my fleece tends to shift a little when I'm sewing with my sewing machine. Sew a straight line around the edge, leaving an opening, trim the corners, use the opening to flip it inside out, take the scraps, cut them into smaller pieces, place them inside of the pillow, sew the opening closed to make an easy dog bed. We can use this side or flip it over and let them lay on the fuzzy side. What I like about the scraps is that you can maneuver them so it looks like your dog is actually putting a little dent in the pillow. Oh wait, let's give it the bone. Oh, the two of them look super comfy. Place them in our doll room so the dolls can chillax. There is one thing that could make this better. New printable TV screens. We now have Netfrog inspired by Netflix. Just cut them out, glue it onto foam board, cut them out, attach it directly to the wall using poster putty, or glue foam onto the back to make a stand, or make the stand separate, place putty on the back, then we can attach the screen with the option to remove it to use a different one. Store the extra screens under the bed when not in use. So we made a cami, shorts, socks, a bean bag with storage, a plush dog bone, a dog bed, a mask, a headband, and a new TV. That's nine crafts, seven of which were sewing crafts, so awesome sauce. My favorite part is we recycled our Barbie color reveal skirt to make four different items. I have a feeling this poor little skirt will be next. I will make all of my patterns available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. Thank you for joining us while we made seven sewing crafts and a few extras. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time when we stay home and craft. Bye! Hey, would you rather